I'm Jenny, and I'm from Elkhorn, and today I'm going to tell you guys what to do when you're having a panic attack in the lunchroom in 10 easy steps. Step one, acknowledge and accept the fact that you're having a panic attack, and you're just going to have to write it out. Repeat to yourself that you are having a panic attack over and over and over again because you're having a panic attack! Try not to forget, it's just another panic attack. Step two, leave the lunchroom. Walk the lunch the school with your hands on your neck. Note, be sure to go like a zombie for effect, like so. <sighs> Step three, when your legs get weak and wobbly and your head is spinning at the little cater and all their Halloween candy in one go and the ground has been strangely inviting, take a step back and a deep breath in and slow down. You're in control, you got this, probably. Step four, seek out the librarian for moral support. While having a baby, and proceed to scan the absolute car out of your son. Back slowly out of the library. Step five. Notice that you're breathing just like you've run a marathon. Think like a fish. Big breath in. Slow breath out. And then think about food and Netflix and pajama pants and cats and food. All the things that make life worthwhile. Step six. Call your mom, because if you can't get your crap together, the next best course of action is to call your mom and have your butt for your nose, and therefore knows how to deal with anything you throw at her. Step 7. Hide in an empty hallway that may or may not be spinning in circles around you, while you try to keep your lunch, or lack thereof, in one place. Realize that your shirt is soaked with sweat and tears, and pray to whoever's up there that for your own sake, you don't pass by a mirror until this is over. Step nine. Start to calm down while waiting for your mom to drive you home. When she picks you up, be sure to dramatically burst into tears because you're so grateful she took time off work to come rescue you from the oogly out of despair that is public school. Note. Take my advice and try to avoid puking in your mom's car. Kind of makes the whole you being grateful thing a little less convincing. Plus, then she'll need to clean it up. Look. Step ten. The last and most important step. When you get home, sleep until 6. Proceed to eat the entire fridge, eat whatever's in the pantry as well, play some Minecraft, completely blow off your homework for a few hours, take a bubble bath with the really nice soap you're told not to use because it's super expensive, and regret nothing. 